I got no clue what that episode 0 was about, but I wonder how much of that carries over to the actual story. Koro-sensei said, or it's, it's, it's told that he blew up the moon, right? The world is in chaos, and they're basically taken like hostage by this alien in Koro-sensei. He's super fast, super strong, and he's gonna destroy this world if we don't defeat him in one year. And he's picked a specific high school in Japan, a junior high school, for class 3E to defeat him. Why? Is it just for fun and games? Let's begin today's reaction. This is not a very uh, happy classroom. Airplane? Airplane? That has to be Sensei. Sensei is supposed to move at Mach 20, right? It was said in episode 0. That has to be Sensei right now. They're waiting for Sensei to arrive. This is looking like a pretty sad classroom. I thought that Sensei was like kind of a nice person because these kids were like, Sensei, you're kind of a pushover, but uh, okay. It's looking pretty scary and ominous. Ew, slimy. Hey. I don't like how these tentacles are moving, bro. And I feel like one of these students are gonna get tentacled. I, I, I mean, it is assassination classroom, right? These, these kids are... <laughs> this is what America wants, by the way. <laughs> this is the talking point that Americans have when anytime there's like a horrific accident happens at a school shooting event. <laughs> and the talking point is, listen, if the kids were armed with guns, then I feel like, you know, the bad guy would be taken out like this. Shit. Maybe you're right. Maybe, maybe the Americans are right, bro. Maybe this is the answer. Yeah. Attendance. Roll call. <laughs> this is the average attendance roll call every morning they do this shit. It just casually while they're shooting at Sensei, and Sensei's like, Yeah, are you here? Okay, next. <laughs> what does that say? Hold up, hold up. The gun. Arms against unidentified slimy octopus. Also, that's the org group. He his face like that. Are you? Have, have these kids actually killed anyone before? I don't know. Like, like, I understand that the assignment is to kill Koro Sensei within a year, right? Before March next year or something, but like, are they killers? But like, it's not as if a bullet hits him and he's dead. We've seen how the dagger just like melts on his head, right? Like, I don't think normal bullets or any weapons are gonna do shit to this guy. No wonder the chalkboard wasn't taking any actual damage. I'm like, is this just anime logic? No, they're just shooting fucking pellet guns. One second, one second. So there are some truths that does carry over, right? Like the Mach 20 thing. And, you know, before, like, uh, I don't know if there's actual timeline to kill him before a year, but I guess some stuff that's said last episode is true. Oh, this is kind of innovative, right? It's creative so that, like, these kids can play around with the guns, but it's not going to actually harm anyone else except Kodo-sensei. Hmm. Yeah, sensei. Is he having a lot of fun? Is it just this default smile? I don't know, it's creepy as fuck. <laughs> Episode 1, let's go. Hi! Kokodemondaides! Kono yon hun no shukshino chi nagama has. Which of these tentacles? Who who? 
Who was... Hold on, I can do this. Who was safe from the accident? The boy who is standing at the school gate is my... I know who attacks the cake secretly while our mother... Who is the beautiful lady sitting... I can't tell, guys. Who was saved? The boy who was standing. I know who. who. Oh, no. I don't even know how to do junior high English comprehension quizzes, bro. I don't know the difference between these who's right now. I don't know how it's structurally different. I'm cooked. <laughs> Relative pronoun. I don't do I know what a relative pronoun, bro? Come on now. Shit. I mean, English was always my worst subject, too. It's my second language, by the way. Give me a fucking break. I'm an immigrant. <laughs> the moon just shows up in the daytime. Soon. Moon blowing up in Koro Sensei? Damn. Okay, so this is true. In the beginning, it looked like the moon had an imprint of like Koro Sensei's ass cheeks or something, right? Because what is this? Koro Sensei is probably here right now, right? Then he like jumped off a bit or something, and this is his like booty cheeks. But no, 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 no. This is the actual final end result. I wonder why specifically 70% it turned into like a crescent moon. Koro Sensei has like a crescent moon shape on his tie too. Wonder what like a moon means to him, a crescent one. Mm. <laughs> I love how he has a fucking gun next to him, like it's gonna do anything. And this spiky hairy guy is the person we saw in episode zero? I'm not sure. Also, I just realized. This lady? This lady's biggest concern? Yeah. Will we have only a crescent moon to look at for the rest of our lives? Like, this is your biggest concern when the moon got fucking blown up? Oh no, are we gonna only have a crescent moon? Also, yeah. Good question is, what about the ocean waters, right? Doesn't there, isn't there like a connection with like the moon and the ocean, the tide, the pull? Something like that, right? I don't know how that's gonna work out, but interesting question. <laughs> まず殺すぞ。クラス全員そう思う。防衛省の烏丸というものだ。みんなまずは。半島直に君たちに殺してほしい。ああ。ハウ、ブロ。なんすか。そいつ攻めてきた宇宙人かなんかじゃ。これも
What is this fucking school place, right? Wait, do you agree? I don't know. Is, is it because this school is clearly separate from everyone else? Or do they just live in the fucking boonies out here? It's not like a special structure built just for it. It's not like an abandoned school that they're taking over just so that they can live in secrecy, is there? Okay. Nice catch. Detention. One final condition. <laughs> wow. Everything can just be solved with money at the end of the day. Who cares about questions? Fuck it. 10 billion yen, I'm in. Yeah. Okay, let's see the currency conversion. 10 billion yen to USD. That's like nearly 70 million dollars. God. Damn, that's a lot of money. 70 mil for saving the earth. Didn't XQC literally get a hundred million dollar contract pick? Most of it was in obviously company equity stocks, meaning it was not actual cash and it's just like these figurative like value tied to the company, but huh. 70 mil to save the world? That's that's, that's good. I think it should be a billion, right? Personally, I think it should be a billion dollars. I think 70 mil for saving the world is kind of cheap, in my opinion. <laughs> okay. Green stripe means he's taunting. Good to know. Yeah, what's down there? Like, like if we go up a tentacle, like what's what's in there? I wonder. Does he wear underwear? Like, what what does he wear? Just like the eyebrows. Yeah. Secret kids. Don't tell anybody. Okay. I mean, shit. Who gives a fuck about these English relative pronouns, bro? We got a year left. I'm not gonna bother studying this shit. I'm just gonna try to kill him over and over again. I'm not gonna study. Take me with you. What's calling what the cell is gonna do if you wanna assassinate him? What? Super productive. Perfect answer. Wait. Fuck, come on, show up. Perfect answer. Double octopus. Okay, double octopus is good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you, Sensei. Thank you. Oh, I didn't work. Come on. Ma, demo, sir. What does that mean? Gambate, Moscata, and Ekedo. It's not target. Nanoni. Or the E class. Ano Sensei, Nazaka, Tuni Sen. Are we a bunch of defects? Like a classroom of the elite? 3E. And, like, I don't know why we're out here. Maybe, like, it's to separate us from like the rest of the fucking like societies so that are obviously mean to keep this shit a secret, right? But also I wonder if we were always taught here out in the boonies because we're just like, I don't know, just trash. They just categorize as trash and sensei selectively, if we assume that we're like trash and we're a bunch of defects, Koro sensei somehow <laughs> thinks that it's unfair and wants to uplift these kids by with an excuse of trying to kill me? Like, I don't know how this is working out. Like, what the fuck is the plot here? Yeah, normal students outside of the killer thing. Not normal. Bullies! I think. Are they bullies? I'm not sure, actually. Not, not bullies. That's right. Green? <laughs> okay, that's easy. That's easy. You do it, bro. The rejects that fail to keep up at this famous prep school. So, okay, so we are literally defects. Well, yeah, okay. The end. <laughs> that is like so mean. 
to like categorize an entire group of students as like the end. Like there is no fucking future for you kids. You're you're so bad of this prep school. Damn. あらゆる面で勝つみたいに差別されてるのを俺らが100億円稼ぐ超回ってこねえぞ。抜け出すんだよ。このクソ見つかってもな。What's <笑> I mean, he was kind of flat. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> what else has there been? Like, I saw his hips, right? I, where, where, where's that one picture? I, I saw, I saw these hips, and I'm like, they're, they're pretty wide. I don't know. Maybe it's a girl. Look at the hair. No, it, it, it's a trap. It, it, Nagisa is a trap. Okay, and Nagisa is going to carry out the assassination. Damn. This is a class of the elite shit, man. They, they, they just fade up. Just fucking... <laughs> Ew. Fucking drop... He, he's like low rank from a prep school, bro. Ew, I don't want to be on his level. What a shitty society to live in. Kuro-sensei, <laughs> that? With the souvenir. Target. <laughs> But like, the SDFs, they still try to attack Kuro-sensei. Even though like the condition is the kids will assassinate, the government still is gonna try to kill him no matter what. Hmm, what was that? You know you're truly powerful when everyone has it in for you. And then there was a realization from Nagisa. What is that supposed to mean? That the bullies wanting Nagisa to do it means that Nagisa himself is truly powerful because they are also in it for him. I don't know. And then... Bing! So, I'll start the next one. Yes. Yeah? I don't know. 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 I don't Hmm。Is Nagisa the main character? I'm not sure. Maybe he's one of the most important characters, but his backstory, right? It's just like constantly in the shadows no one's ever seen him because he's such a failure in the evaluation of this prep school system no one believes in it he believes that no one can see him but i bet koro sensei is different i mean we already we know that he's like a pretty good teacher right and this teacher what a piece of shit you know what i say is it the student's fault or is it the teacher's fault? skill issue in the teacher for not making the student good enough it's your own fault i don't know but Nagisa is also assuming that Koro Sensei is going to be the same, but you never know. I think Koro Sensei is very attentive. I hate poems, man. Very biased. Yeah. What could be a good haiku was tentacles all along. Uh, in my dreams, I feel something. Licking, licking, pleasure. Is this my girlfriend? No. It was tentacles all along. Yeah, sure. かけた人は先生のところへ持ってきなさい。チェックするのは文法の叩き。現できたか。例文で嵐の庭の雪ならで早行くもの。Huh. <laughs> and like his laugh of like Nuru Fufu something, right? I guess it kind of goes in theme with his slithering tentacles. <laughs> Wait, what does that mean? When he gets all red like this, some, if the circle is in his head, then that's like a good thing, right? Purple means wrong. Green means cocky. This means embarrassed? Because he just got called out? Enough with the slithering? Or did he get mad? I wonder. 
Well, episode zero, they're already calling him Kuro Sensei. So, you got no name, huh? I wonder. I mean, he claims to be born and raised in on Earth, right? So, like, I wonder if he's like a special specimen that was referred to some sort of ID number with a bunch of like letters and integers. But we know that he's Koro Sensei because of episode zero. What's he doing? What's that color? What does that mean? <laughs> Assassination time. That's the plan? Like what? Like, well, she, he did give like a little pocket thing, right? Sure, there's got to be more of a plan than hiding the fucking dagger behind this book. うん。<笑> Are we teaching these kids assassination techniques to kill the parents, friends, and teachers that didn't believe in them? What, what, wait, 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 what is the end game here? <laughs> what the fuck? Because like they, they harbor this like vengeance, you know? They fucking hate these people that look down on them. And then, you know, they're learning how to do assassination. I mean, like, uh, I don't think so. I don't think a Shonen Jump series is going to go in that direction. Oh. <laughs> Phase two. Phase two. Hold up. <laughs> that was that wasn't a pouch. Nagisa was down to end himself. A literal suicide technique. Holy shit. <laughs> That's okay? I mean, I know that's Pelus, but a, a, an explosion at that distance is Nagisa gonna be okay? That was not a toy. Yeah, what happens if you're at that close range? Really? The fuck? Nagisa is like enveloped in this, like, layers of something? Maybe this is Koro Sensei's residue? I don't know, it looks like he's been protected against it. Old skin, he molted. Okay, once monthly ace in the hole. Hold up, hold up, hold up. What else is there? I shed my skin once a month. I can turn to this membrane. So it's like this mechanic will probably come in clutch in the future too. I know that Sensei wanted us to like assassinate him, but I think that the method used was too deplorable and therefore he's like super upset. Like, I don't know. I'm trying to understand like what is like the limit or the threshold that Sensei is willing to like deal with? Like, is he fine if other students are using his other, other kids in the class as a sacrifice? Clearly not, right? The whole mood vibe changed, even his voice acting, I think. So there seems to be some sort of standards in how the assassination must take place. <laughs> okay, pitch black color means he's super pissed off. Another thing for Sensei's color. <laughs> I'll kill your parents? I'll kill your family if you do that again? Damn, Sensei! Yeah. Sensei did not like that. <laughs> I mean, listen, as much as like this motherfucker 
it sucks for setting Nagisa up. He's, I, I get him. Imagine being a regular student and this dude shows up and says, like, you better kill me. I'm going to blow up this earth. I blow up the moon. But, like, what? This dirty technique is not allowed? Like, I, 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 I kind of get where he's coming from. <laughs> What? Tokunagisake <laughs> method was okay, but they didn't take care of him. I'm not really following that logic, but we need an assassination worth smiling about, one to be proud of. Proud of an assassination? Assassin- Can there be pride in what- I thought as long as what it takes to get the job done. But that's not it. What is Sensei trying to fucking teach us right now? That, that's what I'm like trying to understand. Like, like, you can't like use other people to like backstab or like use them as sacrificial lamb. That's not allowed. You need to take some pride in the assassination techniques and take care of those around you who are assassinating together. Okay. <laughs> Nagisa doesn't seem to really care about himself. Okay,先生。ニュルニュル. Very slippery. I'm just. I'm. Listen. The subs are telling me. I. I didn't write that. The subs are telling me that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it means with in Latin, right? Teacher with Tarkin. I know, I know, but like, come on now. Yeah, this is a roller coaster. That someone actually looked out for Nagisa, right? Because like, Nagisa seems to have these issues where it's like, he does not have any self love or dignity because no one else ever saw him in that light. So he's just fine with just killing himself. He doesn't really care. But finally, Koro Sensei seems to see him, so Nagisa likes this. Hmm. Teacher actually cares. <laughs> what the? Okay, more backstory. It's looking like this is Koro Sensei, right? But it does not look like Koro Sensei. He looks really cool here, the silhouette. Kind of looks like a Medusa with the tentacles coming out of the head, head, head like that, but there's like a science right, lab, right? So maybe this is where he was born and raised, right? He's like a test tube lab experiment. This is a researcher that was taking care of him. Some shit went down at this lab, and the scientist's wish is that he goes teach this specific class because maybe this girl's related to Nagisa? I don't know. <laughs> No. What's splendid tentacles? Yo, so Koro Sensei was never bald? Like, he has hair. He has tentacle hair. I don't know. Back then. Okay. But we die then. There's nothing I can do about it because you're not gonna go down easily. These kids, what are they gonna fucking do? Maybe. Let's step out of the box, right? Because, again, if you want to think outside the box, you cannot just think within the parameters given because we're given this option of kill him before he kills the earth. But what is the lesson here? There's got to be something more. Assassination techniques. I'm not sure exactly what the point of that is, but I feel like the lesson is beyond just killing Sensei. I feel like it's like uplifting these children due to being like a reject of society and like, I don't know, t teaching them that they're more than just like failed students, but through assassination techniques? I don't know. Nagisa will. <laughs> Kaki sensei. I see. This is how Koro Sensei is made. Unkillable Sensei. Koro Sensei. Koro Sensei? 
僕らの暗殺教室ロノベルは明日もなる And that's the episode Man First episode, I know it's not the first technical episode, we're at episode zero, but this is technically episode one, and it seems like all the stuff carried over from episode zero. Maybe not exactly how that older、um, Japanese military defense guy, right, met Koro sensei, but in terms of like the whole deal of him blowing up the moon, giving the people until next March with about one year, right, and you gotta assassinate me or I'm gonna blow this world up, and The overall premise is crazy because it's like, what the fuck? You have this insane monster alien thing. It's not really an alien, it's, it's literally lab produced on, in, in potentially Japan, right? And his goal was given by a researcher, right? If you're willing to give up your time, like, please go teach those children. Why? There's a connection with this researcher and a specific child, or maybe the whole nature of this class. Maybe there's something more sinister about this whole 3E system beyond just being rejects at a top、uh, prep school, but I'm not really sure. In terms of the whole assassination theme, like, I think that like, the point isn't really to kill Sensei, right? I, I don't think so. Of course, that is the end goal, but. I think at the end of the day, it's more of like these kids learning lessons through Sensei, and assassination is simply a vehicle for that. It's, it's, it's just like a random skin of a bus, right? And the destination isn't to really kill Sensei, it's like to make these kids feel appreciated, to uplift them, even though they've been outcasted by society. But <laughs> still gotta try to kill them, and it's just hilarious how everyone just fucking got gunned up, they got knives, and it's creative how like these bullets and different weapons will not hurt actual humans. But I can only kill Sensei. And then in the topic of like an honorable assassination, this is actually, you know, a little bit harder, right? Because like dirty underhanded tactics, for sure, like, <laughs> you're gonna think I'm fucked up for this, but like, what if we threw Nagisa and then Sensei was like blindsided by Nagisa and Sensei was hatching Nagisa and then I come from fucking behind with a knife, but. The first knife is like fucking an actual blade that can penetrate Nagisa, and then within it is actually the material that can kill Sensei. Like, stuff like that obviously is gonna be more effective. But Sensei doesn't want that, right? Sensei wants like an honorable way of doing it, which is interesting. I didn't know assassins really carry pride at the end of the day. Job's done is job's done, but hey, we'll have to watch more episodes to truly understand what's going on. And that's it for me. If you're still here and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content, and until next time, take care.